Welcome back to Superhuman Customs. I'm Stephen Human, and today we have something that I wasn't planning on doing at all. I actually just came up with this idea yesterday because right over here behind me, you will see that there is a copy of Super Soldier Number One. Now that is one of the Amalgam comics back from what? It was like 1995 when they did Marvel versus DC. And he is a mixture of Superman and Captain America. And when I was looking at that cover, I realized that I have a Booster Gold that I wanted to customize and that I had no idea what to do with. And suddenly he became the perfect super soldier when I found this in one of my drawers. It is, this is my extra drawer, right? It's a Superman sign, it was a stand. This becomes, look at that, the perfect super soldier seat shield. So we're gonna turn him into super soldier. Now there's a couple of problems here. First of all, the head. So super soldier does not have a visor. Other than that, he's kind of perfect. Now I could get like a, uh, Wally West Flash that has sort of the same look on his face, so how the mask runs and the hair coming out. But I looked online on eBay and Amazon and they were like 40 bucks. I'm not gonna spend 40 bucks for a figure just for the head with a body that I can't use. So I'm going to turn this into like a modern version of Super Soldier. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna paint the visor white and just kind of make it so that he is like a rebirth, quote unquote, version of this character. So I'm super excited. We're going to take him apart. We're going to paint him. We're going to go through all this stuff. We're going to have some fun. We're going to experiment with this bad boy and make this a shield. So let's have some fun. First up, I've had these guys soaking. So we're going to use this guy right here because I'm going to see if I can use this like crotch piece in order to make it more of a rebirth-esque kind of Superman. So I'm just going to yank his legs off and then pull that off. So nice and simple. And since we're going to prime this guy, I want to make sure that we can just get everything off nice and easy and get him so that he is fully painted and then replace these. So let's see if this will actually work. I'm not sure if it will because I think that this might be, this one might be too big, but there's only one way to find out and that is to yank this sucker off if we can. Maybe. There we go. Come on. You can do it, Booster Gold. Soon to be Super Soldier. All right, well after soaking him and getting the back off, I found that this front part is really glued on. And the more that I'm tweaking it, the more it's just tearing this softer plastic. So I am just going to abandon that because if this one is too big, which it might be, I don't wanna have this one ruined. So we're just gonna abandon that uh, idea and move on. And let's prime them. This worked out so wonderfully with the Valzod that I, you know, I've heard about priming forever and it really did make a huge difference. So I'm always going to prime these guys now if I'm doing a full body paint like I am on this guy. So let's just get them primed. So we're using this blue, just game color, standard blue. And while <clears throat> the body is drying, let's go ahead and let's turn this light on here. There we go, that's better. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> paint the details on the face. So this will be pretty simple. I'm just gonna go through and lighten up this color with the blue. And remember to lead with the paint when you get to the face. Oh, cause I just got some on the face. And that happens sometimes. So just clean it off with your fingernail before it dries. And you should be okay. Here we go. And then after that, just be a little bit more careful than me. <laughs> and go through and remember lead with the paint when you get to the edges. So get a little bit more paint on there. And this should go pretty quick. Now I'm gonna go through and just start putting some blue on the legs. The primer is dry and we'll start adding some details here. What we're gonna do now is something a little bit different. So like with Captain America, Super Soldier has kind of a texture here on his upper torso of like scales. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to add those scales with fabric paint. I'm gonna go through and just add some dots like this all over the place, just to make it so that he has that texture. And we're gonna do it all over the chest, try and keep them evenly spaced so that they look like scales. And 
and I think this is going to look really cool and add that extra little bit that just makes a figure stand out in these little details. Things like this end up taking a little bit of time. You know, at the end of the day, it'll take me maybe five minutes to do it. But it is a little bit tedious. But these sorts of things make all the difference. And these textures really make a figure stand out on a shelf. We have a lot of stuff drying right now, so this is the perfect time to go through and do the white on the visor. I think he's really, even though the original character doesn't have this kind of visor, I think this is going to look really nice and it's not going to feel out of place for this character to have a white visor. Besides, this is my version anyway now and I am more than happy to have him be a little bit different. He does not need to be exact and I honestly don't want to spend another 40 bucks just for a head. I don't know about you guys, but even if I got the money, that just doesn't feel fun to me. While everything is drying, we are going to start on the shield. So first I'm going to cut off the little foot thingy here, get that taken care of, if I can. Whoa. Whoa. And we cleaned up the water spill, but we did get that off. And now what we're going to do is I'm soaking a She-Ra shield that I had from a She-Ra that I bought and I'm never going to use the shield. And so we are going to take the back off and we are going to glue it to the Superman shield and then paint the front of the Superman shield so that it can just be a little bit more uniform color with what the rest of the character is going to be. Now I also, I sanded in here a little bit to make it so that there would just be more contact area for the glue. So it will, it should stay permanently, but that just gives a little bit more area to grab a hold of. Start doing the arms. We'll get a good idea for how these little scales are looking here, because I put some on the shoulders. And I think they're gonna look pretty good. Hopefully the chest looks as good once it's dry and ready to go. And some nice red. We'll go through and get all the coverage on all this stuff, making everything look exactly the way it's supposed to look. Super Soldier does not wear gloves in his original appearances, but remember I'm turning this into sort of a rebirth version uh, with the goggles and stuff, and so I am going to give him gloves. And so I think that'll look cooler and be a little bit more of a modern look to him, and that's what I'm going, just an update. My own personal update to Super Soldier. Now you'll remember from when we did Superboy that we used this knee pad to do the stripes on his leg. So I'm just gonna cut these into strips and I'm going to paint them red and we will glue them on so that they are, so that they are exterior, so, so that they are raised and just look a little bit cooler on his torso for the stripes on the white. Well, these are finally dry. So we're going to go over in the blue and match everything. We caught them, got them put back together again. And then we will start adding on some of these other little textures down here. I've got stuff for a belt, I think, um, and then the stripes. So let's just get through here. It's looking pretty cool. I mean, it's got, it's got the right texture to it, just like a Captain America, or in this case, a super soldier should. We've gotten to the point where we're going to start gluing stuff on. So I've got a buckle for the belt here that's basically just a piece off of something else. I don't even know what it is, but it looks like a belt buckle. So we're going to start with that. And then I'm going to start placing these pieces here. Now you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with the star. Well, here we have it. This came off of a 10 inch Captain America figure I have. It was on the back and it went into his shield in case you wanted to have the shield in the back. I don't display it that way. I wanted to have a perfect star. So what we're gonna do, you can see here, I'm gonna drill a hole and we're gonna fit it right in there so he has a perfect three-dimensional star. So we can get it in there, it's going in, but it still is a little bit too big. So I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a think real quick and see what I wanna do with this star. 
I've sanded down the star quite a bit. It doesn't have the little holder in the back anymore, unfortunately, but this is the only way for us to really get it so that it stays. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it on here and then I'm going to put some uh, fabric paint behind it just to kind of shore it up. But having it thinner like that, I think, is a better plan because it was so thick just coming out, it made it look really weird. This is still going to look kind of weird, but it will look better. There's your time lapse. It's all dry now. I added a couple more of these just because now that he's all put together, I could see where it kind of needed a few more of these little scale things just to give him the texture. And then I think we're going to be done. We'll just be able to put on the shield and then we'll have our last stuff. All right, hear me out. Experiment time. So this is an evil Superman head with a big old smile on his face. I'm gonna see if we can make this into the head for our super soldier. And I'm just gonna use some fabric paint and I'm gonna see if I can mold on the mask. So that's what we're gonna do here. Not bad. Let's see what he looks like with some blue paint. All right, guys, I'm in Sacramento right now with my brother. Hey. My brother has some pretty interesting ideas about fixing this shield. So what I'm thinking is, is obviously what you use for the shield is a stand for another Superman figure. So I'm thinking we modify it, we actually make it look like a shield instead of like a stand. So we're gonna recess the Superman logo into the shield and I'm thinking, what if we added some rivets? All right, let's be honest. This was a placeholder. I went ahead and broke down and I got him. Let's go ahead and put a real head on this guy and make this figure exactly what I'm imagining. I'm excited to get this guy finished. We've got our two heads. What we're gonna do here is on Wally, we're gonna trim off his little ears here. Nice and simple. Just with a one slice and they should come right off. There we go. And it's off. But Super Soldier has ears. So what we're gonna do is, or again, this is all experimentation. We're gonna cut off this guy's ears and we're gonna see if we can glue them in place so that he has ears. I am not gonna lie and say that putting these ears on was worth it because it super was not. You know, those ears could have turned out a lot worse. Just using a nice thin brush and I'm gonna cover this up. I mean, the great thing is that this is already blue. So we just need to match the color of the mask to the body now. And it'll also allow me to get around these ears and make them look just a little bit more like they're a part of the, like they're in the mask, you know? What I'm doing right now is I'm just going through with some silver paint and I'm just hitting these bumps, the little ridges on his chest, just to make them stand out a little bit more. So that instead of looking so much like just bumps, that it maybe will have a, you know, look a little bit more like the armor, the chain mail. And that's what I'm going for. So I figured adding a little bit of highlight to some of these just with some silver paint would go a long way to just making those stand out a little bit. Once again, our super soldier is getting pretty close to being done. We've got his hair here. So let's go through and let's just yellow him up so that this guy is blonde. And that should do us. We'll work on his final, finalize his shield. And then we can call this guy good. Who'd have thought that we would have tried three different heads on this guy? And that I should have just realized that this was the head that I wanted and have gone with it originally. I think I'm going to start doing that more often now. So when I got an idea, but I guess with this one, I didn't I didn't think that I would care. Honestly, I didn't think I would care. I'd be like, oh, cool. I can just have this, you know, but I really did care about having a good super soldier. So yeah, I couldn't just let it be cheap. It had to be a little bit more involved and I'm okay with that. So I've got the, the shields. They're a little bit smaller than I wanted, but in the original artwork, his shield was kind of small. So I think we're going to go with it over what we were originally using. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down and use the fill-in spray and just see what, what it looks like. I'll do a couple of them just to be safe. Now I used that uh, fill stuff 
the fill spray. And then I sprayed them silver because I want them to start out a little bit metallic. And what I'm using is my very light, very watery model air red. And I'll use my Citadel yellow, which is also very thin. And what that will do is that it will give me, the, it, it, it'll it allow the metallic to kind of shine through a little bit. And so this will look like a metal shield. So this is kind of our last step. The figure itself is done. And once this is done, then I will remove the holster or the handle from the, the back of the old shield that we kind of started with and then attach it to this one. Finally, this was a long time coming. I know not for you guys because you just watched the video, but for me, it has been a very long time to complete this guy and I'm very glad that he's done. Now, I learned a lot and since I started him a long time ago and finished him now, Obviously, I was able to do a lot of figures in between, and I would do a few things differently. Um, like with the, the scales and stuff, I now have figures that I could use as the base for that that have, their, have the scales like that, or at least the texture. But I do think that it turned out pretty well, especially since I, I added the silver highlights over the top. And this was actually the first one I ever did that on when trying to work with metallics, and it turned out pretty good. So there you go. Super Soldier from the Amalgam Universe. Maybe I'll do a Dark Claw or some other character from that universe. They are very, very fun when you mix Marvel and DC. And so who knows what we'll get in the future, but I am Stephen Human. Check out stephenhuman.com for all my novels, and I'll see you guys next week.